Buongiorno amici Allora per questa intervista finale ho deciso di darvi un punto di vista un pochino differente dal solito e Dato che diciamo vi ho portato qua in giro per l'Academy Vi ho fatto conoscere le persone con cui condivido le giornate in classe o insomma all'interno degli appartamenti Ho pensato che sarebbe stato interessante forse anche portarvi un punto di vista differente Quindi grazie al cielo abbiamo trovato un professore che è disposto a raccontarci un po' come lui vede l'Academy e come è stato per lui iniziare nel mondo della recitazione, soprattutto qua ad Hollywood, quindi la smetto di parlare e lascio la parola a lui. Adam Chambers. Yeah, whatever you said. Whatever. Whatever you just said. I agree with what you said. We don't know what you said, but let's... I don't have a clue. Okay, perfect. And let's just start by introducing yourself to the world. To the world. Tell us something about your life and your acting. Uh, my name is Adam Chambers. Uh, I am an actor. And I'm also a director and a musician and a producer and a comedian. And I also am an instructor and director here at the Academy. Yeah, and you were also a student here, I, right? I was. I was a student. I went here many years ago and then uh, I got into... When I graduated from here, I started working right away. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's very nice. And so, yeah, how did you... I always kind of start with an introduction mm -hmm. with people. How did you decide to get closer to acting as a profession? How did you consider that as your yeah. job? Um, I've been acting since I was a little kid. Since I was like five, uh, I started acting. And then I started acting all the time when I was younger. Uh, I'm from San Diego originally. And then I... But I grew up like acting and acting and then went to a performing arts junior high and then a high school and so right out of high school I came in here. So it was always been always a passion, always, always there. Yeah. The call, you the can't call, ignore the call. You cannot, it's like, it's like a drug. <laughs> it is. It's a drug and you're it constantly really looking for the drug <laughs> even if it's uh, for one person. You're like, ah, oh, that's <laughs> enough, I still got something. I want it. I still got something, yeah. That's so true, that's yeah. so true. Okay, perfect. And so now, starting from that, I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think are the actual opportunities after we finish the academy, after we completed our study here and we are out there in the actual world. How did you start it and how you suggest people to start? Yeah, I, um, it, it's weird because you don't get like an acting degree and then just like you just get work like it's not and you know what I mean it doesn't guarantee you anything oh yeah it acting is probably one of the few jobs in the world when you're like well I now I am now I guess but there's no piece there's, of paper it doesn't do you anything <laughs> yeah and so because anybody could do it at any point yeah um, but the reality is that there is a lot of stuff I mean even something like what you're doing here like you're doing something of your own you're making something yeah. happen yourself you're creating your own work whether it be i just always said yes to everything like if anybody asked me to do something i'm like sure if i'm available let's do it. i'll just do it let's like let's you asked me to do it i was like well i'll do it yeah, i love that that's that's amazing because then you just never know what it is that you're getting yourself into and yeah, totally. and, and the worst thing that's going to happen is like nothing and the best thing is be that amazing. we get a cool interview yeah, anyway, the <laughs> right? cool thing could be the best thing could be like it could be like a life-changing yeah, opportunity totally, so, totally. And you, and so take every opportunity that gets into your yeah and just go for yeah. it. And if nothing so, if, if nothing feels like it's coming, then you gotta make your own stuff. Yeah, you totally. gotta make yourself and put yourself out there. So finding a group of people that like encourage Teamwork you. Teamwork is very and important. Inspire you. Did you did you find that after your school? Yeah. Like did you connect with people that were coming in the school and then you kept working with them after or something? A little. I started working a lot myself, and then I got involved in theater mm -hmm. on my own, and then I started bringing all my friends to theater, and then I started my own theater company, and then I really brought my own friends. To oh, that what about that? Tell us about. Yeah, yeah. I started my own theater company called Loft Ensemble, uh, loftensemble.org, um, and uh, we have uh, we started a, a company almost 12 years ago, and this year we will be on our 50th play. Um, we started downtown in San er, in Los Angeles uh, 12 years ago, and then we moved to a new space in Sherman Oaks about two years ago. Um, and we do plays, we do improv shows, we do stand-up nights, we do music nights. Oh, they're amazing. Them. I've been there. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. That's where we're going, guys, by yeah, the way. Exactly. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. So you. Yeah, you'll okay. see us tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just telling you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay cool. perfect. And and so yeah, you started working with someone that is also from the school though. Like I know that you kept in contact with people from here. Like, yeah, you make so, connections. Yeah, like here. my like my best friend 
was in all of my classes. Like my first day, my best friend, I still am like, he's the guy I'm in the community for the comedy band with. I like travel the country oh. with him. We met day one here at school. He's so. really amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's I amazing. Mean, like this place, it's so cool also because of that, because you get so many opportunities to just know people and create something together. And, and you never that. know what people are going to do, because some of the actors that are here may not end up acting forever, but they may end up writing, or they may end up producing, or they totally. may end up directing. Totally. Them. You know, and as long as you've just been in class with them and showed that like you're serious, like you never know down the line, they may be like, oh, I got something for you. So it's worked a lot for me. Same. Yeah, I love that. I love that. that's how it should be. And so talking about that, uh, what do you think that once we graduate from the academy, it's most likely to get as a job for starring young, young starring actors? It's going to be commercials, I think. First, because it's because it, commercials. It's not that they're easy, but they're um, like in a lot of ways anybody can do a lot of commercials. Mm -hmm. There are some times where I've gone on commercials and been like, my brother could have done that, and my brother's not an actor. <laughs> like, oh, you just you walk care. in the room and they just say your name and then you leave. So that has nothing to do with going to acting yeah. school. But it's going to be uh, it's easy. You know, it's based on your physical physical appearance. Mm -hmm. It's really easy for an agent to just submit you for commercials and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of non-union commercials, mm -hmm. so you can get work quicker uh, yeah. without having to get in union and stuff like that. So which me, is sad, by the way. Which is just, sad, yeah. yeah. Really. So, so you'll get in that, it'll be easier to get commercials right away. So to me, that's going to be like the first thing that I'll totally. just do right away. Nice, yeah. I'll take the advice. Yeah. <laughs> so, since you're always very, very active, tell us something about what you're working on right now, because I know you have a few mm -hmm. projects right now. Yeah, um, I just did an episode of a show called Superior Donuts, which mm -hmm. is on CBS. Um, I did uh, this last season of American Horror Story, um, and I did uh, I did a series called Overdue, uh, mm -hmm. which was really exciting. I loved that. I got to be like the lead of that series, and so that was really cool to play. Where is it broadcast? Um, you can find it. It's easy. The easiest is just find it. You can find it on YouTube. It's just called Overdue. It's a series. Okay. It's got a lot of views. It's uh, Verizon and JC Penny basically like produced this. Um, Kind of like a, it was like a web series, but they produced them like a short film, oh, like a film, mm -hmm. and then like they cut it into episodes. Um, but it's amazing, full blown production. The cast is amazing. Um, I, I had a wonderful time doing it. And then I'm, uh, I'm directing a play, and like starts in like two months. And oh, cool! My band What's is, the name of the play? The play is called Patron Saints of the Suburbs, and it's about a bunch of young, like twenty something year olds that come back for one of their friends from high school's funeral, mm -hmm. and they have this like night uh, in uh, in a park after his funeral, and like all of them getting back and like reattached. Like, cool! Um, that sounds like a very good story. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very sweet, and it's original, and it'll be at my theater and everything like that. Yeah, and then so you have this like the TV series, you got the show, the band, like everything, all in with, do you, like, how do you manage to do all of that together? Is it a problem? Do you do it like... Um, you, you, I get really good at making my phone on the date, <laughs> like on the, <laughs> putting yeah. time in on my phone. My um, brain gets on my yeah, phone. Yeah, brain gets on <laughs> yeah. my phone. Um, I think there's something to be said, and I, I've, I've been talking about this a lot here, is uh, this has been my number one for, for forever, mm -hmm. especially since I moved up here. I didn't move up here to do something else. So all those things kind of move to the forefront of, of everything that yeah. I'm doing. Like totally. you should see, like I have a giant pile of laundry though in the house <laughs> that I oh. will never touch because <laughs> I don't have time. So that laundry <laughs> just you. gets put to I the feel side. Like since I started filming this, yeah. I swear I did laundry once in two weeks. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> and it's just it's, piling up and that's I'm actually like, good. Mine's like two months. <laughs> oh, okay. Like I just go, I just have another shirt. I'll just get this other piece of clothing. I'll just wear something else. And yeah. then it'll get like and this it's high. It's just high, it's taller than you're like, whoa. Yeah. I guess I probably should take probably 30 minutes off at least yeah. just to put yeah. them. But I'll never, it'll be like a whole Saturday one day yeah. I'll have to take. I'll spend like a hundred dollars on quarters. <laughs> quarters just blowing yeah. your laundry. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to that. I wish I had like working on having so many things to do that I don't even have time to stay at home and do my laundry. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's actually a very good thing. Yeah. Like, okay, so... um. I also wanted to ask you, do you have any like dream role, your dream project that you would like to work on or that you already worked on? Um, I would love to do like a, like a buddy cop movie. Like I would love to do like a funny like cops that are friends, like just ridiculous. And you would be the cop? I'd be one of the best friend cops. Oh, okay. I would love to do something like that. I would love to do something, I'd love to do something with like 
like my like my best friend. I, ideally, well, I had an interview by one of the students that said that really wanted to get arrested on camera. So maybe we should just pair two things pair together. together. <laughs> I've been arrested on camera a few times. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's yeah. okay. It's, it's okay. It's, okay. It's, not I, a, it's not everything that is cracked up. I I just want to do something really. Goofy. I mm -hmm. get. I get. And would you like to write it or act in it? Uh, just, like just. I mean, I'd love to act in it. Uh, I, I, I don't love. I don't love sitting down and yeah. writing. You see yourself more in front of the camera. Right? Yeah, but I also like. If I'm writing, it's more just like improv writing. Yeah. Like I like mm -hmm. to talk and get it out and stuff like that. I'm not a big like sit down on the yeah. computer. Yeah. So you don't it have out. it all planned out. Uh -huh. and just kind of have a scheme and then uh -huh. see where it takes. And see where it goes. And then we'll be like, oh, I like that section. Keep that. Let's mm -hmm. move this totally. away. Totally. You know? Yeah. That's but nice. a buddy, buddy cop would be funny. We're looking forward for it. That's yeah. I'm pretty sure. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen, guys. It's just a matter of time. I usually ask to every person that I interviewed so far one question, but I'm gonna change it a bit for you. Okay. So, uh, I always ask to people uh, where do they see themselves in five years after like the academy, and so I'm gonna ask you, like, coming back in the days, where, you've, where you have seen yourself in five years and how that changed after. Sure, <laughs> I, 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 I talk about this a lot because I think it's almost impossible for actors here at the school to, to see themselves in five years anywhere other than winning an Academy Award or winning a Golden Globe or winning an Oscar, you know, just winning something and being super successful, right, right in three, four years. It's like impossible to see yourself past that. But as years go on and you start to realize that, like, you don't have to win those awards to be a successful actor. Um, and it takes time to realize that. So for me, it's like I, don't, I stopped looking at things from where do I see myself in five years, where do I see myself in ten years, as long as I'm like still acting, like I'm totally cool, man. <laughs> like I'm, I'm good, man. I feel, and I'm gonna tell you something that's yeah. gonna surprise you. That's uh -huh. what most of the people told me. Though. Really? As long yeah. as they're just acting? Yeah. Good. Most of them, they didn't even mention a word or stuff yeah. like that. They were like, yeah, I'm probably gonna be poor and struggling, but if I can still act, that would be nice. Yeah. So you're actually great. teaching something. Uh, they're learning see. something. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. They're great, not, not great. listening. So it kind of, so like your perspective that you had back in the days, it kind of changed yeah. and evolved why you were. Yeah, doing it, it, right? defi it definitely changed a lot because I was was so like there's a I thought there was steps I thought it was like move to LA go to school get an agent get on TV win an award like, yeah. I it was like, bah, bah, bah. and then once you win an award you'll have a big house in the hills and then so basically you started seeing this perspective evolving as you were going right. forward and you changed your mind like you ever gave a thought about teaching that or it uh, just happened to I you I didn't because I always thought it was just these steps like I just thought we would take these basic steps like you win you, you, you'd go to school, you'd, you'd learn, you'd get an agent, then you'd get on TV and then you'd win an award. Um, and then you would just sit like in a jacuzzi yeah. and drink champagne for the rest of your life. But that's Bushy not life. <laughs> that's not what it really is, even though I totally would love to drink champagne <laughs> if I could. If someone could tell me that that's all I could do for the rest of my life, I'd probably I'm honestly like, just do that. Okay. It's not a <laughs> they were problem. like, you could just give up everything else, I'd probably just do that. But there is, <laughs> yeah. but they, uh, but that's not the case. There's a bunch of steps. I never thought I'd have a theater company. Mm -hmm. It just kind of happened. I never thought I'd be a teacher. It just happened. But now that I do this, and do now you like I teaching? I love it. I love it so much. I could. I. It, yeah, I would. I will always teach. That's now that I, I have, I really will always teach. Even I'll always found find it. Now we hold on to it. Yeah, I'll always find it. I'll always find. But I think it's very it. important. And like seriously talking about it, I think also it's important to have. The perspective of a teacher that is also working after, but it's also a, like a from like a young perspective, because like most of the teachers here, they're amazing, but like sometimes you feel that they might be a bit more distant to your reality because they are not your age sure. or like they haven't really experienced what you did. While on like your case, like you're doing thousands of things things together, but you also like get the reality because you just lived it. Totally. So I feel like it's very important to have a, like a reference that is just out of the academy doing the things that he wants to do and now he's giving us this insight. Yeah. We're very, and so, one last insight that I want to ask you about okay. is, do you have an advice that you would give to us struggling, <laughs> starting young actors to survive in the industry here in LA? Um, there's, Take your time. Yeah. <laughs> so to me, there's I thought, three, three, there's three things, and they go together. I think uh, like you have to do these things if you're going to do this. First thing first, you have to find how to like love living here in LA. It's it, a lot of people struggle. I don't know why you struggle. It's amazing. It's so yeah, beautiful here. I know. All the time. 
I so love it. It's Look amazing. at some people there. Are yeah, like... so if people are struggling with that, they have to figure out that there is a lot more than what they've seen so far. They're just not trying hard. There's yeah. a lot of options. There's a lot. Here, of this, this is a city where you can literally find whatever you look for. I, I Anything. went to the mountains and I saw snow no, yeah. like a few days ago. Totally, exactly, <laughs> right? And then you could like also surf later that afternoon if you really wanted to. So it's. There's everything here, every kind of food, every kind of culture, everyone's really open-minded, so I really like that part of it. You gotta find the love that you yeah. like here, and then you gotta find your friends here. You gotta find who's gonna, because your friends will be your family here, because um, your family's not totally. gonna move here. So you gotta like, mm, not you know, so you <laughs> chilling gotta, at home in Italy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you gotta find your friends that are gonna be your, your, your people that challenge you and inspire you and you wanna mm -hmm. work with. And then you gotta grow some thick skin. Oh yeah. You just gotta grow some thick skin and, and, and learn how to... Rejection, learn. rejection is a daily thing in yeah. the acting life. Yeah. And it's, I would say, it's not even necessarily rejection. It's, 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 most of the time it's just nothing, right? You just like, there's a lot of nothing. There's a lot, <laughs> there's of, a lot of you free audition. time. Yeah, a lot of free time and a lot of auditions that you sit back and wonder what's gonna happen <laughs> and you just never hear anything. So you have to just sit and wonder all the time. Yeah. So a few times that someone's actually told me, you're not right, I've been like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I've been like, thank you so much for just telling me that. That feels so good. I, I don't have to go home some and like kind of sit. Feedback. Yeah, I have some feedback. I don't have to sit at home on the couch and be like, maybe I'm gonna get it. Am I gonna what get it? Gonna what did I wear? Did I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might she just told me straight up, idea. you're not good and I'm for this. And I'm, at least I don't have to think about it. I'm done. Like, okay, great. Move on to the next project. Yeah, yeah great I don't day. like this idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I think I think we got a lot of very very wise advice. From well, you. thank you. I'm very wise. <laughs> no, actually, he is like he, he pretends that it's not. But, like you are. Thank you. And and so I'm glad that you. Allowed us to do that. Yeah, thank you. Well, how do I say uh, thank you? Yeah, grazie. Okay, that's pretty. I should probably put that together. Grazie. <laughs> grazie. Then, grazie. Gra uh, okay, I think we should say, say that. You should say that in time because I usually okay. let my guests close my interview videos. Okay. So I'll so let I, you do this. Okay. So I feel like we should. You should say like grazie. Grazie. Ci vediamo presto. Ci Vedramo. Vediamo. Vediamo. Presto. Presto. Great.